we were making life hard on ourselves being DIYers. The truth is y'all, we are crazy. So one of the ways that we can lose our power is by drowning ourselves. And we do this by inundating our life with more, more, more. We grew up in a culture, especially in my age, when the American dream was more. Bigger is better, more is better. But there is a time when more is actually better. And today I wanna to share with you those exceptions because this was absolutely life-changing for me to discover. So I wanna start with a story that happened. My brother is in interior design in New York City. He's really good at his craft and what he does and he helps people make amazing homes. So when he came over this last holiday season, I said, hey, I have a little bit of a problem. No matter how much I declutter, I tend to feel like it's still clustered everywhere. I just feel stressed navigating about my house every single day. He told me the reason is because I don't make efficient use of my storage spaces. And then we proceeded to go to the container store and buy boxes and boxes of containers. Secretly in my mind, I was horrified. There's so much stuff in my car right now. I can barely see out the windows. I don't see how this is gonna solve my my problem, but it did. Check this out. My pantries went from this to this, and my drawers went from this to this. This was so life-changing for me that I was totally jaw-dropped by the whole experience because I could not conceive how getting more containers that filled up my car provided more space and efficiency throughout my home. Like I've literally been on a high since he left because I enjoy my house. It feels clean and so easy to move through. It feels so easy to access things and put things away. I'm still blown away by this concept, but here is where more is better. Number one, more is better when it creates more efficiency like this story here. So if you find things that create more efficiency, particularly to you, whether it's a garlic press or some automatic dog feeders or an automatic gate, I think it's worth more time, effort, and money to put these systems together to create a more efficient and seamless living experience for yourself day to day. Number two, more is better when it saves time. So this is kind of like being efficient, but with the cabinets, it's more being efficient in the spaces. We're actually making the space itself more efficient. But if something saves you more time, like having a house cleaner or having two air fryers instead of one, this might make sense. Some place where I'm totally guilty of this is for the longest time, I was so proud of the fact that we are DIYers. When you come to our house and you realize how big of a garden we have and how much space we manage, clean, take care of, and then you realize we do it all ourselves, everybody thinks we have lost our minds. And the truth is y'all, we are crazy. It took a long time for me to let go of the resistance of it is practical to hire out help. Yeah, sure, you can do it yourself and take the whole weekend, not getting some good R&R or quality time with the family and you've saved yourself a couple bucks, but when in reality, if you could have just hired somebody else, it just makes more sense for your time. For me, trying to be an aspiring, like really good minimalist, as well as my husband being somewhat of a frugal penny pincher, we just thought that the most practical thing without thinking about it is to just do as much as we can by ourselves. Do the math, take account for your time and how much energy you actually have or want to spend and then delegate or allocate a little bit more into hiring help or a little bit more into creating systems that save you time so that you have more time and energy to do the things that you wanna do and actually enjoy your priorities in life. Number three, and this is my favorite one, more is better when it causes you to grow. Now. I would have put a huge caveat here because I know a lot of y'all are like A-type personalities, go-getters, high achievers, really responsible people. For those of you, I am not saying make life hard on yourself because it forces you to grow. Like we were making life hard on ourselves being DIYers, but at the same time, even though it caused us to grow in certain skills or certain aspects of like homesteading or doing stuff at the house, it really took away from my growth in personal development and in business. I love when things force me to make more effort and bring more awareness into being and showing up as the person that I wanna be so that I can live and experience life the way that I wanna live it. And ultimately at the end end of the day, when you think about like working out in a gym, you don't do less reps, 
less working out, less effort, you actually practice more, put in more repetition to get stronger and better in fitness. So this goes hand in hand with your mental and emotional resilience. You just wanna make sure that that comes with a balance of actually doing what it takes to recharge your batteries so that all those lessons and all that strength training can actually result in growth. So while this is my favorite point today, it's kind of obsolete to the crowd that I'm talking to because if I know you and you're like me, you tend to do more and you tend to do too much. And while I support that, I wanna get really clear on what causes you to grow. Is this area that you're putting more effort, demanding excellence out of yourself in something that is contributing towards the growth of your priorities, the growth of the things that are going to create the life that you wanna live, or is it just growing you in a positive way and valuable way in things that are just kind of not so much priorities but still awesome and still entertaining and fun. That's the real deal is being able to know yourself and identify what things truly add value to your time and attention so you're not losing power to go towards the things that truly matter and are important. And if you're having a hard time identifying this for yourself, this is a great place to start the level up process and being able to identify what's going to level up your life and how you show up. I have an awesome and free Kickstarter kit that helps you start going through that process when you sign up for my newsletter. I'll stick the link below. And if you like stuff like this, let me know by hitting thumbs up, leave comments, subscribe for more ways to level up your life, take that power back and live the life that you truly want to live. And I look forward to catching you in the next video. Ciao.